Welcome back everyone. It's been a while since we had car related content. Uh, last time we were driving off-road and uh, that was with the Suzuki Jimny. Unfortunately the Suzuki Jimny is gone from the channel. I sold it um, and I have a plan. Um, I guess you could say I sold it for the greater good because um, I'm going to start flipping cars and I'm gonna make a series about how I'm flipping cars and how I restore the cars in order to make a profit on the cars and the goal with that car flipping is to buy something really cool in the end I'm thinking of a Jeep Wrangler which is one of my dream cars but unfortunately they are quite expensive and I need to come up with a plan in order to be able to get one so uh, the chimney is gone uh, I made a little bit of profit on that one but uh, considering that what I've done on it that profit is not the biggest one however uh, behind me here we have a Mercedes SLK 320. It's, a Mer it's from 1999. It has one owner only, only and it only has 16,000 European miles on the odometer. That is, uh, I think that's like 10,000, uh, 100,000 miles, British, uh, British miles. Uh, or 160,000 kilometers. So, not much at all. It's a V6 and the maintenance has been up to date. All the maintenance have been done. It's uh, really well taken care of. Um, I know the guy who drove it. It's an elder person. Um, I got a good deal with on this one. Uh, because there's quite a lot of rust. A friend of mine said that these cars rust if you showered the day before. But my plan is to fix the rust because fixing rust takes some time but it's not really expensive so and I have the time on me to do that. But before I start doing anything I'm just gonna give it a general clean I think that's the first way where you should start when you have a, like a car like this. This is not really dirty or stuff like that, but clean it off and see what you have to work with. Uh, after that, I think we have to start making the repairs uh, for the rust. And after the repairs and when we got new paint there, I'm gonna put an undercoat underneath it and I'm gonna really protect it from the rust because that's the biggest, weakest uh, weak because that's the biggest weakness of these cars. Otherwise, it's a very nice car to drive. It tracks good, it's a really nice Autobahn cruiser. You can drive it fast, you don't even notice. Let's have a look what we're dealing with here. First of all, it's a little bit dirty. So that's why I want to get it cleaned off. Besides that, we have some classical rust on the hood. Still a, bit, a little bit warm, so maybe it's too early to clean it. Down here we have some holes. We have some rust issues on the doors. Behind here we also have rust issues. We have rust issues here on the fenders. We have some rust issues here as well on the trunk and I would say that the other side is similar. You see the fender here, there's no holes but it's the same issue in the door and on the same areas basically. The interior of the car is also really nice. There's some stuff like this that can be dried off. Same goes for the seats. And the center console over here, there's some dust. Uh, this one could be cleaned off. Well, nothing extreme, just some very basic cleaning here. It, at the moment I have no idea how it looks underneath, so that might be a surprise for me. But I'm gonna see if I could 
have a look underneath it. And I bought this car uh, even without trying it or anything like that. I just went uh, on the fact that it's a one owner vehicle and I assumed that the maintenance had been taken care of. Underneath you see some undercoating that has been here and there's no like huge rust issues as least thought on this side uh, so that's a good thing under the hood we find a v6 engine this engine is considered to be a reliable engine it's uh, well maintained and there's no issues with the engine at all by the look of it the engine bay is quite nice uh, we have the V6 in here and they didn't really shoehorn it in here, so you have um, enough space to work with. Um, this engine bay is a little bit dirty, but we're going to take care of that and going to give it a proper clean so it's going to look like new. At the moment it's a little bit warm, so I can't really do that. I'm waiting for it to cool down uh, so I can wash it off. Um, besides that, we're going to um, give it some brake service, uh, just some basic one base actually, just to um, put some grease on the slide pins and check uh, the brake pads and stuff like that. Um, so let's, let's start, let's, let's start with just cleaning the car and rinse it off. Uh, first time we're just going to get it like wet. Once it's wet, I'm just going to rinse it off. The first thing I'm going to put on it is a super detox. And what this is, does is that it removes rust particles on it. It turns purple when it's activated and you spray it on the car. So I'm going to give it a quick spray with this one and we're going to see what's happening with it. So let's just spray it down and see how it reacts. This product is supposed to turn purple when it activates on it. It's hard to see here, but there's some parts here. I see it's a little bit over here, but it's not much, which I consider to be pretty good. We see some over here though. Here we have a simple foam lens, which is the next step before I mechanically go over with this uh, microfiber cloth and clean it. So now I'm just gonna soak it in foam. Now I'm gonna rinse it down, then I'm gonna go in with the sponge and scrub it down. Before I'm putting the microfiber cloth and scrub it down, I'm gonna put one more layer of foam over it kind of like lubrication. And my next step is to use a microfiber cloth and some water and mechanically remove all the dirt. Uh, inside this I have a dirt separator as well. Uh, very important to have that. So next step now is to basically just scrub down the entire car. So we had washed it off all by hand, now we're going to soak it and clean, rinse it off one more time and then we're going to put some, um, some stuffs in the car, some shiny stuff and see how that turns out. Okay, so the last product I'm going to try is called, um, quick, it's a quick shine from the Swedish store built them, but today I'm just trying some of their products and see how they work. Uh, sprayed on, on the wet car, and then I used the microfiber cloth to dry it off. And it should be shiny and look good. Uh, starting with the hood, it seems easy. You're supposed to do this on one area at a time. I dry the car off. This one is quite wet. Uh, what I do now is that I take a dry one 
and I just dry the car off completely with this one. I think the product made a pretty good job. It looks shiny, it looks nice. Uh, probably, it's probably not gonna stick that long, uh, but well, be definitely better than before. It was dusty and a little bit pale. But let's have a look here around it. It's pretty shiny. Looks, looks nice. The name of this car and the project of this one is called Gusten. Uh, the car already had a name when I got it, uh, considering that I bought this from uh, uh, my co-worker's stepdad. Uh, considering that, i definitely gonna keep the name Gusten, so this is Project Gusten. And there will be more about Gusten and about this SLK320. Uh, overall, I've been driving it a little bit and see how it feels. It feels very nice, it's an Autobahn cruiser, it's nice to drive it's not sporty but it's not slow uh, but it's it's nothing like if you compare to my Cobra or anything like that uh, this is an Autobahn cruiser so uh, if you like this kind of content give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments what you think and uh, click uh, also click here to subscribe and click here to see the playlist related to this product thanks for watching and I see you later